Many people in the West, my brother included, and he's an expert in environmental engineering, often complain about China's pollution issues, but I think that they fail to consider the implications and the realities on the ground. As the world's largest manufacturer, by a very long margin, China does indeed have a pollution problem, but a lot of work is being done to fix that. China is now the world's largest installer of wind turbines, is the world's largest installer of solar panels, has the world's largest high-speed rail system, and it's a system that runs on renewable energy, and it's also the world's largest producer and market for EV vehicles, including buses, uh, heavy transportation, and even cargo ships, as well as recreational boats, as you can see here. But it's plastic waste, what I want to talk about today. China's contribution to the waste plastic problem is second to none in the world. It is true that the marketplaces of China, especially the wet markets, are swamped in plastic bags. But there was a law that was introduced back in 2008, which actually stated that these plastic bags will be completely phased out by 2025. So basically by next year, we will not see those plastic bags anymore. The country went through a massive overhaul in society in 2008, before the Beijing Olympics, when supermarkets stopped giving away plastic bags. We need to pay now if we want plastic bags at the supermarket. And one thing about Chinese people is that no matter how wealthy they are, they don't like paying for something that they think they should be getting for free. So nowadays, almost all the shoppers that you see at the supermarkets are carrying their own cloth bags. And there's a lot of plastic that we don't see being used these days. But still, even in supermarkets for fresh vegetables and minced meat and things like that, they still provide plastic bags, no doubt. There will be a solution in the next 12 months because, like at the wet markets, these plastic bags will be phased out by 2025. Now, one of the big issues about plastic bags, um, apart from the fact that we are ingesting microplastics at an alarming rate because of the garbage that for decades the West has been putting into the oceans as well, is that they require shiploads of oil to be produced. China is a huge importer of oil and reducing plastic waste is a great way of reducing the need for some of those imports. So that alone is a great incentive for China to do this. Let us not forget that plastic bags, uh, the wrapping and the packaging were a problem in the West long before they were a problem here in China. Remember this fact, until the 1980s, there was virtually no plastic in China. So it's time we stop blaming China for a problem that's originated in the West. Now, did you know, for example, that until 2018, China was the global dumping ground for all the developed world's garbage? You heard that, right? More than half the world's recyclable waste was shipped to China, where it was then processed in what was a very dirty industry at the time. So another thing that China did at that time was to stop all imports of international garbage. Western developed nations would ship over their garbage and let China deal with it. Well, at the same time, they were all criticizing China for being dirty. Interesting, huh? So China put an end to that game and cleaned up its own country by doing that. Instead of finding a better solution to deal with garbage, those Western countries simply chose to export it somewhere else in the region. Australia, for example, enacted a law back in 2019 to make shipping garbage illegal. But in 2020 and 2021, they exported the same amount of waste as they had been exporting before the law was enacted. So it's just words on paper 
no enforcement. The USA still today exports 225 containers of garbage to underdeveloped countries every single day and has no laws in place, no plans in place to prevent that from happening day after day. Now inside China, recycling is a huge thing. All rubbish is sorted. Some of it is burned in power stations where actually carbon capture mechanisms are already in place to take the toxins out of the smoke. Some of it is turned into fertilizer. It used to be at a time that it was used for animal feed, but that now is illegal as well. Much of the garbage is recycled into packaging now, even small towns and cities. Everyone that I've ever visited, that's more than 250, and that's a lot of towns and cities I know, has recycled stations. In all honesty, yes, there is a global problem with plastic, but China is the one major country that is actually doing something about it. The other countries will just continue to mouth platitudes, offer suggestions, point fingers, but they're going to let the third world wallow in garbage unless someone else is paying the bill. If you had seen what China has done to its environment in the 24 years that I've been here, you would have absolutely no doubt that what I am saying here is true. The sky is blue now, where it used to be permanently overcast. The rivers are cleaner. The fish are coming back. The air is fresher, even in the larger cities. And people are healthier and living longer. Here's a little fact for you. China's life expectancy has increased every single year since the CPC declared the foundation of the People's Republic of China. How's that for a fact? You, you cannot do these things and maintain a polluted environment. Something has to give. Of course, if you are reading Western media, like my brother does, you might have a very different opinion on China's environmental approach. But do remember this, and this is so, so key. 20 years ago, China had eight of the top 10 most polluted cities in the world. Today it has none in the top 10, and only two in the top 50. While still managing to manufacture more goods than every member of the G7 combined. So what are you bitching about? I have confidence in China. When they say that they plan to do something, they actually do it. They know it takes time to transition from single-use plastics to a more efficient and sustainable system, but they've got all the steps in place to ensure that, like everything else that they said that they would do to help the environment, they will achieve what they said they would do. That's it. Friends, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you like the content of this channel, subscribe, share, and leave your comments in the comment section. And let me know what other topics you would like to cover. If you want to support the work that I do, you know the thing. There's a link in the description to buy me a cup of coffee or a QR code here in the screen that you can use if you're in China using WeChat. And well, until I see you again, take it easy and bye for now.